Hello everyone, welcome back to Murdered Soul Suspect, where we last left off. We were in the graveyard and we found out who, who killed that woman, or that girl. And now we're here and we're going to figure out what's going on um, in the insane asylum. Uh, I think this will be the last video for today, so let's keep going. He's most likely a man of imposing size and stature. Someone who's accustomed to violence. Heinous acts in his past define him to the point where he no longer knows who he truly is. Diagnose psychiatric issues. Young body of crutches. Visitation severely limited. Or limited. A get well gift, but for who? One more. Oh, kiddo, I hate being here and wondering if you're okay. You're all I have left. Just like this girl's friend is all she has left. Sorry, I know how hard it can be when someone depends on you. What's your friend's name? Iris, uh, Iris Campbell. Yes, it looks like your friend Iris is here. Everything's gonna be okay. Thanks, I, I feel better. Hold tight, kid, I got this. Just need to get my eyes on her computer screen. Uh, the son she lo is love is all she has left, like, how about, uh, blah, blah. Oh. There we go. Room 216. She's in room 216. We gotta find it quick, Joy. She's scheduled for electroshock. Who uses electroshock therapy anymore? We know that it doesn't work. If anything, it makes things worse. Bizarre death of the Lux Eternal Mental Hospital in Salem may have been connected to a string of murders throughout the town. A source confirms that a female mental patient was found dead strangled with a cloth bathrobe belt. It might be the first of the recent murders to be committed in such a secure area. It means no one is safe anywhere, said a terrified woman who had spoken directly to the witness. I heard there were all kinds of drawings on the wall on her cell and that bell symbol might have been there. I'm sure it was him. Nine more straight jackets. Alright, kid. Coast is clear. No one has been able to solve the mystery of the bell killer in Salem, not even the mystery of the symbol itself. Since there seems to be no bell at the scene of each crime, could it be the killer is leaving an autograph of sorts, a statement of identity? If it has to do with his origins, the logical conclusion would be that the killer originally hails from Philadelphia. Another rich city rich in history and home of the most famous bell in America. But are police willing to consider this bold approach if it means solving the case and saving dozens of lives? Dedicated to the victims of the great Spanish influenza epidemic unleashed within this ward in 1918. May their souls find the peace they were denied in life. Following a str strident editorial on these very pages that question the ability of the same police department to com competently investigate the Bell Killer case, lead investigator Lieutenant Javier Rex Reyes announced that six additional officers are being assigned exclusively to the case. While unavailable for direct comment, Reyes is quoted in a recent SPD press in its release saying, In a department of this size, this represents an enormously significant shift of resources which should reassure citizens of the gravity of this case and resolve to bring it to a conclusion. Alright. Another straight jacket. Can't go that way. Iris is due for shock therapy in 15 minutes. Like, fry your brain shock therapy? Oh shit. Oh shit is right. Let's get moving. 
Ronan was so good to come along. I know it's been hard for him dealing with my mood swings. I think there's something serious going on in my head and I know he suffers from the consequences going along with me. But to be supportive, to be my rock, that takes a real man. I will get through this. I will make this all worth the struggle. <laughs> okay. Another camera. Get on it. I just borrowed the helicopter and left a little note. I don't know, he might get in trouble. Oh, see that camera? I'm not as invisible as the look out. Is this TV going on the fritz again? In a shocking new discovery, our staff has found compelling evidence that recent brutal murders in Salem repeat another unsolved ki killing spree in 1972 to 73. Like the current spree, the killings were all conventional, unconventional, bizarre, and unsolved, and they all bore the mark of the bell. Not as prominently as recent murders, but definitely a similar signature style mark. While Salem police were unwilling to comment on any relationship to their cold case file, the evidence is overwhelming that a serial killer has returned to Salem to wreak a new reign of terror, or a copycat killer has done his research. The thing to understand about Mrs. Gwynn is that her father used to become violently angry when she would walk in front of the TV. Bugs crawling up the wall. and can't get anyone to spray them. And not gonna try to squash them again. All the blind people put the restraints on me. <laughs> can't believe they put them on me. Just because they can't see the bugs? Why is it called antifreeze if it stops overheating? That's a good question. Why is it called antifreeze? Because it stops things from freezing. Hello? Go away. Are you hiding? This is... Okay. You're up again, kid. I need to possess you to get past this crap. No. Oh, I hate that. Or you can just go on. Totally alone in here. You know what these hands are? Lost souls, I guess? Just seems like the opposite of moving on. Or at least the opposite of moving on you're trying to do. No, 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 no! What do we do? Alright, keep going. Get to Iris's room. No, no. We stick together. Joy, we don't have a choice. Now, I'll meet you there as soon as I figure out a way around this. Go! Okay, uh... Sealed. For violations of Massachusetts Health and Safety Code and or Salem. By order of the health public officer for public health. It's good that you can actually go in and read that. Four more. Oh boy.
Looks like a cat would go that way. And there is a cat there. Oh god! What? No! <laughs> it gives you a split second to do things! There is nothing up there. Alright, another one, three more. Uh any more. Oh, let's just possess the cat. Hehehe. <laughs> Oh, let's go! Oh, that's not good. Can I just run by them all, or do I have to get them? Yeah, I have to go through. Whoop-dee-doo! Right, okay. Uh. Hello. Those parts. Those parts are in me. Where am I? Do, do you work here? Show some mercy. I wish I could help. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Gotcha!
a letter. I asked Rex what he thought about Ronan's proposal and he just gave me a big smile. He always liked Ronan. I think he was just surprised the guy would do something as conventional and respectable as proposed marriage. But he took it as a good sign. I think I should too. Knowledge is nothing if not passed to new generations. May this instructional theatre constructed in 1899 pass the wisdom of learned doctors to future generations. Alright, that's past the door. One more. Hey, Ronan. Did you forget about me? Find joy and get her here. Before I do, I want to find the last um, thing. In staying in the police department, news briefing yesterday, department spokesperson Ingrid Larson confirmed that there has been no suspects arrested and that there are no new leads in the case. While we are urged the citizens of Salem to be calm and to carry on with their normal lives, said Detective Larson, we also encourage people to come forward with any evidence that may be helpful in this case. It is up to us all to work together and keep our community safe. Mice can slip under doors, little cracks. It's all just concentration. Discipline. I have time to practice. Alright. I've, uh, I've had a long career working as a state inspector for the Department of Mental Health. During that time, I've been to a lot of institutions, and I have seen a lot of horrible things. But um, nothing even comes close to the evil events that I witnessed at Fairhaven Sanitarium, the place they now call Lux Eterna. Which is Latin. I first arrived in um, 1926 <sighs> to investigate claims of overcrowding and neglect. However, Fairhaven's reputation was tainted <laughs> long before that. In 1911, Fairhaven opened its doors for the first time. A notoriously violent criminal by the name of Jack Yates was the hospital's first patient. He was to be the, uh, the, the shining example of the hospital's ability to cure the mentally deranged. However, when the superintendent's family was visiting one day, Yates broke free from his restraints and he, uh, he killed the man's wife. Since then, no one knows what happened to Yates or the superintendent. Well, that is, until now. Superintendent Wallace Halstead greeted me at the door. He seemed as empty and unkempt as the patients he lorded over. And uh, as I conducted my evaluation, I couldn't help but notice how nervous he got when I passed by a small broom closet. And naturally, I felt it necessary to find out why. When I opened the door, I was hit by the overpowering smell of human excrement. As the light flickered on overhead, I, I was horrified at what I saw. A withering man lay shackled to the floor, 
than a pile of his own filth. Years of sunless existence had turned his skin, hair, and eyes milky white. He'd been chained there for so long that his, his skin had grown over the shackles. Um, it took me a moment to realize that the husk of a man was Jack Yates. The police arrived and Dr. Halstead was carted off. Doctors moved Yates from the small room for the first time in 15 years. The floor beneath him was permanently stained with the shape of his silhouette. They, they tried to remove the shackles from under his skin, but the shock of it all was too much for him. He, uh, he died the next day. I watched as they walled up his tiny prison, trying to pretend that it never happened. I honestly hope he's in a better place. Although the staff still claims to hear his agonizing wails coming from inside the walls. Okay, that's, uh, yeah, creepy. Um, they actually seem to be as written, like, if you've ever read them, like creepy pastas in a way. I mean, some creepy pastas are completely not crap, but. There are a few good ones, and that's what it feels like this is like. Why is it called antifreeze if it stops overheating? Uh, you're, a, you're a different person. I think we're kind of obvious. Nah, nobody knows. I mean, we're just talking here, right? There's more to it than that. You think we're invisible. Keep looking around. That's the exit. Alright, let's get going. Uh... Keep you safe. You're gonna be so safe. Everything is gonna be fine. Don't you worry. Everything will be okay. I'm not gonna let anyone. Damn. I don't think we're worried about shock treatment, but she's already a lost cause. Don't call her that to touch you. All right, fine. You go see what our comatose witness has to offer. Yeah. you after all okay eyes can see me she's a medium too what the hell she booted me out somehow all right let's see if anything here can tell me what the hell is going on with this girl okay time to start the investigation Art therapy. It's part of the therapy somehow. Flipped. Very agitated right now. Chase. Tormented.
troubled. Express her inner demons with these drawings. Iris was captured by asylum. Burned at the stake. Ah, it's because it looked weird. I thought it was... Look, I can't tell from that. I can barely see it. Zoom out a bit. Relates to Bell Killer's murder where he burned someone at the stake. Girls linked. Twins. What are these things for? Like art therapy or something? Do no. Blue. Blue eyes. Cold as death. Who had blue eyes? And and death? What does that mean? Blue eyes. Wolf eyes. Blue stare. Harris was deeply disturbed by someone with blue eyes. Seven out of seven clues. Iris's life, but paid with her own. Bell Killer's going after young girls. But what was it? What, what'd you see? That poor kid. Her sister freed her when they were about to be scorched, but she couldn't return the favor. Are you okay? What the hell? It's Rose. She has flames. She was possessed. I told you to stay back! <gasps> Who are you? I'm Joy. You don't belong in this place. Orderlies. Crap, I'm so dead! All right, Iris could be the answer to everything. Help her, help her! Come on, she's coming with us. No! You're not taking her! Look, you want the orderlies to shock her? She stays here. You want her to be safe outside? She comes with us. It's up to you. Yeah. Both Iris and her sister were captured by the bell killer. Iris escaped for her buried sister. We're gonna keep going because this is just getting kind of interesting. So... Um. 
Come on, move. Move it. This place is a nightmare. You're a nightmare. Got it? Yeah. Over here, in those shadows there. Coast is clear. <sighs> Why do my worst nightmares keep getting way worse? Okay, let's figure this out. Thought I would never see this again. Alright. So what do you know about this contract? Nothing. I... Oh, come on. It doesn't make sense. So he just asked you if you knew about a contract? He didn't ask. He wanted us to admit to it. Admit to having a contract with... Demons. Demons? We did nothing to him. He had no reason to go after us the way he did. Which the way he did. He drowns one girl and burns another. Where have I seen that steak before? Uh. There we go, garlic invitation. That's it. Right, look, look, get Iris to the church, make sure that she's safe. I'll catch up with you later. Go. Okay, come on, Iris. All right. Now, what the hell does a museum gala have to do with Rose's murder? Everything. Escape possible bail killer survivor at the asylum. Completed. Gar links for the bell killer. He how could the bell killer or his murders belong to the gala? Okay. Uh, exhibit at the museum. All right. Um, did it save? I just want to check. Restart from that checkpoint. Hopefully it did. Yes. Alright then, um, we're going to stop here. Uh, so far this game is pretty cool. Um, like I said in the previous episode, if uh, obviously I wouldn't be able to see your comments for the previous episode in this episode just now, so I'll probably have to do it the next time I start recording. But yeah, if you guys know where the remaining things I need to collect are... What do I need to actually get? I need to get the... I need to get the... Um, the collections of stuff, don't I? Uh, Yeah, these things. I need to get the Bell Tower Banshee swords that are in the the church. I need to get the muskets which are in the police station. I need to get three more heirlooms which are in the the um, in the uh, insane uh, in the graveyard. And I need the Eternal Flames, two of them, for the main area, the town. So if you guys know where any of those are, just let me know in the comments, and then. Um, I'll try and find them in the next episode I do, maybe tomorrow or something. We'll have to see. But um, until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I shall see you in the next episode. Goodbye.